I once had a raspberry garden in my backyard, but one summer the plants were doing well because it was a very hot and dry summer. We weren't getting a lot of rain, so I figured they must need more water. So I started giving them more water and, I, and, and they were still struggling, so I gave them even more water. But eventually I realized the problem wasn't just that they needed water. The problem was there were weeds that were attacking the raspberry plants. Weeds that were choking the life of my plants out. And I thought they just needed more water. You know, the same is true many times in our Catholic faith. I meet many people who tell me, you know, we raised our kids Catholic, we gave them the faith, we sent them to Catholic schools, we got them catechesis and confirmation, uh, we passed on the faith. But then they get into to secondary school and they start asking questions like, why do I need a church? I'm spiritual, I'm a good person, why do I need a church? Or maybe they go off to university and then they, are having a conversation around the dinner table and some hot button moral issue comes up and they'll say, oh, I, I, I wouldn't do that, but you know, if somebody else wants to live that way, that's okay for them. You know, who, who am I to judge? Why is the Catholic Church so intolerant? We should just be loving, we shouldn't judge people. And parents are often wondering, I thought I gave them the faith. And then they go off and graduate and they get a job and they fall in love and they start living together and living together and living together. And mom and dad say, hey, have you ever thought about marriage? And the kid says, oh, marriage? Well, why do I need some certificate from some church? And once again, mom and dad's wondering, I thought we gave them the faith. What happened? You know, it's not enough for me just to water my plants. I gotta be mindful of the weeds that are choking the life of my plants. And the same is true when we're passing on our faith, whether it's in a parish, in a Catholic school, or most of all, in our own homes. We have to do more than give water. We've got to do more than pass on the faith. If all I do is pass on the fact that there's 12 apostles, 10 commandments, seven sacraments, and three persons of the Trinity, that faith is going to have almost zero chance of surviving in our secular culture today. Because there are many weeds in our secular world that are choking the life out of our faith. What I want to do is unpack for us those cultural weeds that are undermining the faith life, especially in the next generation. Can we address those? Can we talk to our children? Can we talk to the next generation about these critical issues? What is love? What is marriage? What brings us real happiness? It's all found in Jesus Christ and in the God who is love. That's the heart of our Catholic faith. Everything we believe as Catholics is about love. It comes from the God who is love, the God who made us freely out of love, the God who calls us to experience his love and wants us to share his love in this world. Let's pass on the heart of our faith, which is love. That's just something to think about.